everybody so this video is a jewelry haul of some pieces that I picked up from a couple of different places I have um, some pieces that I picked up from Dillard's I also have some pieces that I picked up from Etsy and then I have a couple that I picked up from a local store at home so the first thing that I want to talk about is what I purchased at Dillard's now if you guys have ever watched um, the current custom or Lorraine here on YouTube um, her family sells a line of the Lisa Tabez jewelry, and I am absolutely in love with those necklaces. Um, they also have bracelets and earrings, and I absolutely love them. Um, the only issue for me is that they are a little bit pricey. Um, everyone who's bought them says they're well worth the money, but for me, they're just a little bit too expensive for me right now. Um, I would love to one day own them, but a little bit too expensive. So I was watching... Um, Oh goodness, ah, it was Lisa, it was Lisa Lisa D1, I think is her username, and she was talking about how she found a kind of a dupe or a less um, expensive version of the Lisa Tabes chains at Dillard's. And so I saw it in her video and it looked really nice, so I decided to go to Dillard's and check it out in person, and they are fantastic. So what I ended up buying is the chain, and this one right here is the chain that you can get from Dillard's. Um, and this is $28 at Dillard, so it's really affordable. This is the sterling silver one, but they also have it in gold, rose gold, and they also have it in hematite, which is kind of like a grayish um, metal. So this is the one that I bought. And when you get them from Dillard's, they're about 65 inches long. I didn't want one that was quite as long. So what I ended up doing was I ended up making um, a set of three from that. And what I mean by that is I ended up making a pair of earrings and a bracelet to go with this necklace. So I just took, um, this necklace actually has, here we go, it has a lobster claw clasp at the top. So I just cut off a couple of links here and I made this bracelet that you guys see me wear a lot. Um, and I just had some lobster claw clasps. So I just added a lobster claw clasp and a little jump ring to this. So I made a bracelet and I custom fit it, you know, to my wrist. And I also made these earrings, they're on a Claire's thing, but um, they weren't from Claire's. I basically had some of these um, wire hooks and I just took, if you can see, one, two, three, I took seven links and I just put them together onto the little links. So I made myself a pair of earrings too. So I, um, for $28 and, you know, a couple of extra dollars for the jump rings and the um, lobster claw and the earring backs, which are things that I already had, but if you didn't have them, it would only be a couple of extra dollars. So maybe for $32, I would say, I made myself a whole entire set. So I think this is a really great alternative. Um, this is one of those necklaces that you can wear either tripled, you can wear it all by itself um, in one length, you can wear it layered with other necklaces. I, you know, usually like to wear it doubled over just like this, but this is my kind of alternative thanks to Lisa Lisa D1. Um, and they have them at Dillard's, so I think this is a really, really great, cheaper alternative for the Lisa Tabez necklaces if you've been looking at those. So that's the first thing. Um, the second thing that I purchased from was because of, where I first discovered this Etsy seller through Danielle or LaPook here on YouTube, and she talks about um, a gentleman named Wire named Mike, and he's got an Etsy store, and he also has a website. Um, his website is just uh, www.wirenamemike.com, and this is his business card right here. And he makes all of this jewelry made from wire. So if you can see, um, I'm wearing this necklace that I got from him. I think I bought all these when he was having a buy one, get one for uh, get one free sale. So I'm pretty sure um, that's the sale that I bought this on. But basically, you can just see it's got my name here in wire. And then it's on this chain. Now, I was a little bit nervous at first because the chain is, when you, when you first get it in the mail, the chain looks really, really delicate. But it's actually held up really well. I'm not the most gentle person on my jewelry. So it's held up incredibly well. And as you can see, it's just the wire here. Um, and this is next. I'm pretty sure the one that I got was 18 inches long. And then during that sale, you could get something free of equal or lesser value. So I ended up picking a bracelet. Um... And I got a bracelet that says Faith on it. I don't know if you can see. There you go. Um, the bracelet says Faith on it. And you just give him your wrist uh, measurements and he customizes it to your wrist. And it actually clasps right up here towards the front. Now the only issue I have with this bracelet, um, crap, I can't get it on right now. But the only issue I have with this bracelet, and I mean it's you know bound to happen. And I could have guessed that it would have happened. But um, anyway, what I'm trying to say is when you wear this bracelet, sorry guys, I can't get it on all the way. But when you wear this bracelet, because the chain is so delicate and the actual wire writing is a little bit um, heavier, it tends to fall so the wire writing is underneath of my wrist, if that makes any sense. So then when I end up wearing it, I just have the chain on the top and the um, writing on the bottom. But I absolutely love this bracelet. So I think next time 
I might order. He also has one that's more of like a bangle type bracelet and that's all made out of this type of wire right here so everything would be pretty much the same weight. So I think I might go with that um, bracelet next time. But other than that I really do enjoy his jewelry. I love this necklace. I wear it a lot and I get so many compliments on it. Um, he also has it in I think a gold fill or a gold one and his prices are really reasonable. I think I think the necklace was about $17 and I'm pretty sure the bracelet runs 10 Don't quote me on that, but I will put all of his information on the bottom bar in the bottom bar. Um, the next thing that I got from Etsy was from a seller called Jewels and Notes. And she actually ended up sending me these pieces. I think one of these pieces I got for free and one of them I got half off. Um, just to kind of review her website, or to review her shop on Etsy, I guess. She has some really neat pieces. Um, they're all just basically like little charm pieces with Swarovski crystals and that kind of thing on there. Um, these are her business cards right here. It just says Jewels and Notes, and then it has her um, Etsy and her email right there. And the shipping was super fast. Everything came really pretty, it came wrapped really pretty. It came in these little white boxes with this ribbon and a little tag that says Jewels and Notes. Um, the first necklace I got was this little anchor necklace. Now, I absolutely love this necklace. This necklace um, is a little bit smaller than I was expecting, but that's partly my fault because she does list on there the size of her charms. So that's partially my fault. But this is definitely a very dainty piece, if you can see right there. It's just a little anchor and it's definitely dainty, but let's see if I can put it on and you can see. So here's this um, necklace right here. So it's a very small and dainty piece. I tend to gravitate towards smaller pieces, but this one's a little bit, like I said, a little bit smaller than I was expecting, but I'm still really enjoying this one. And then the second piece that I got from her was this one. And it's a little heart and it's got a Swarovski charm on it. The only thing that I wish was different about this necklace is I wish the, the Swarovski crystal was more in line with the size of the heart. Like if you can see, the heart's about half the size of the Swarovski charm, so I kind of wish, sorry guys, it's got a little bit of the fuzz on it. I kind of wish either the heart was a little bit bigger or the Swarovski crystal was a little bit smaller, but otherwise, these pieces are really pretty. Again, it's a really dainty chain, um, but still, it holds up really well, and I'm really enjoying both of these pieces that I got from her. So again, I'll have all that information in the bottom bar next thing that I got are from a store that you guys have heard me talk about a million and one times and it's a store that's at home where my parents live and I visit occasionally. So the first thing that I got was this uh, snowflake necklace. I thought this would be really pretty for the holidays. It's just a little silver toned necklace with um, little teeny crystals around the outside and it's got the snowflake pattern. Or it's got the snowflake charm, excuse me. The next piece that I got, and you guys know that I already have a couple of keys from this store that I purchased. Oh, and by the way, that snowflake necklace was, um, I think, five dollars. This piece, next piece right here, is six dollars, and this one is a key necklace. You guys know, like I said, I have a bunch of keys from them, but I have um, a tree foil key, and I also have an, an oval key from them. And this one I saw, and I just thought this one was super cute. This is um, a round key, and it's got rhinestones all on it. So I thought it was just pretty. If you can see all the rhinestone detailing on the key. And it's just a really pretty piece. I think the keys are just a really nice piece. They're a simple piece, but they add just a little bit of something to your outfit. So I love that. And then the last necklace that I got from them was, again, $6. Um, the um, chain was $6. This is a little bit of a nicer chain. And, oh, sorry guys, this one's tangled. And the charm was actually $8. So I bought them and just kind of put them together. But this one is just a little rhinestone cross. And again, this one's pretty dainty as well. Um, here we go, there's the cross. And if you guys can see um, right here, in comparison to the other things that I'm wearing, this one's definitely um, a pretty dainty cross, but I just like the simplicity of this. Um, so that is my jewelry haul of things that I've recently purchased. I hope you all enjoy. So um, as always, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments box. And until next time, stay beautiful. Bye.